Hi, scholars. Our nonfiction read aloud today is called How to Hide a Butterfly and Other Insects by Ruth Heller. Now, before we start to read this nonfiction book, we are practicing thinking about what we already know about this topic. What do you already know about butterflies, other insects, and how they hide? What do you already know about that topic? Great, that'll help us to recognize the new things that we learn. How to hide a butterfly and other insects. If you take a careful look, you'll see how creatures in this book are camouflaged and out of view, although they're right in front of you. The butterfly that you see here just folds its wings to disappear. <gasps> Can you tell where the butterfly went? He folded his wings to look like one of these leaves and now I can't find him. That's called camouflaging. So cool. This moth will do a different thing. It covers up each underwing so that all anyone can see is the bark upon a tree. The moth camouflaged into the bark of the tree. Can you find him? The inchworm's feet are at both ends. His feet are here and here. To move, it stretches and it bends. Then it performs a magic trick and imitates a twig or stick. Can you find where he went? The praying mantis likes to make a sound just like a hissing snake and spreads its wings to scare a foe. It somehow always seems to know it won't be seen when dining where the leaves are green. Where did the praying mantis go, Amos? Grasshoppers leap, sometimes three feet. And what you thought that you just saw now looks more like a a bit of straw. Where did he go? This fly you see looks like a bee and thereby fools its enemy. But here's a clue I'll tell to you. Flies only have one pair of wings while bees you see have two. Spiders are not insects, as I'm sure you know, but this spider is a hider, and she's very, very slow to change herself to yellow and then to pink or white, depending on the flower she decides is right, where she can wait to catch her prey and still be out of sight. Guys, where did the spider go? Can you find it? Because the world is hostile, all creatures need protection. They need to hide so thoroughly that they defy detection. So some of them use camouflage to fade away with ease from predators who like to dine upon these predators. But predators to live must eat, so also fade and are discreet. And then their prey on which they sup can't see who's going to eat them up. 
Amos, what did you learn about this nonfiction book? What did you learn about insects and how they hide, how they camouflage? I can't wait to see what fact you learned that you'll write in your reader's notebook today, scholars. What did you learn about insects and how they hide? Please write me a beautiful sentence in your reader's notebook. Good job, scholars. Bye-bye.